Ratings.com is one of my favorite headphone review websites because it provides lots of data to back up all of its conclusions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert data, uh, frequency response data from rtings.com or ritings.com, however you want to pronounce that, um, into something like this, something that you can use in Room EQ Wizard or some other program to calibrate your headphones. Let's get started. First, go to the sound section, click on the frequency response graph. We get this interactive graph. Hit Control S to save this complete web page. Open the saved HTML file in Notepad++ so that it gets color coded so that we can see it better. Make sure you have WordWrap turned on. It's going to help us a lot. Now, bring up the Find window with Control F. And what we're going to find is anywhere on this graph, hover your mouse over it, and just take a random value. Let's say 386.081 hertz. 386.081. Type that into the find box and find it in the HTML file. So here we have this huge chunk of data that's actually responsible for displaying onto the graph that we saw just now. Let's close that. So at the beginning of this data chunk, we have frequency, left, right, and target response. This indicates the format that this data is arranged in. For every frequency, there is a left and a right volume or decibel value, followed by a standard 90 decibels of the target response. So we're going to extract this data now. Go to the very beginning, um, the very first frequency value. Right click on it and you know just right click on the very beginning of the very first value so there begin or end selection and find the last target response value here and end that selection so now we've selected the actual usable usable data so do a control c to copy that control n to create a new text file and control V to paste it in there. Now we're going to get rid of the, these HTML separators and arrange this entire thing into columns and rows. These shorter separators uh, can be seen as columns or, or tabs, I guess, because we're going to convert them into those. And these longer separators uh, can be seen as new lines or rows because that's when the entire uh, set of data repeats itself and goes to a new frequency value. So let's hit Control H and turn on the extended search mode and copy this shorter separator and paste it in the find box and replace it with backslash T, which means tab. Replace all. Next, copy this stuff into here and replace it with backslash N, which is a new line. Replace all. Beautiful, isn't it? All right. Now, let's copy this entire thing into Excel. We're going to slightly manipulate this data. So delete the target response column. And over on this column, I'm going to do equals average parentheses 
B1, comma, C1, which is going to take the average of these two cells. Double click on the, the corner here. Doesn't seem to be working. Let's try that again. Um, huh. Okay. Well, I'm just going to drag it way down then. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now we've um, applied this rule throughout this entire column. So that's going to be our channel average. We want to use this instead of any of either of these channels because um, each side of each headphone varies, and this is the best we we can have. Uh, you know, the best representation of the best uh, estimate of what your headphones could be. Okay, and let's select all of the first column and paste it here, so that we can select both of these columns, copy it and create a new text file and paste it in back into Notepad++. So now we have simply frequency and average volume at that frequency. Save this text file. And now you can go to Room EQ Wizard and go to File, Import Frequency Response, and import it. Say no to apply C weighting. And boom, here it is. The data is now yours to play with. You can use it to calibrate your headphones or do anything else with it.